February, northern Canada. The arena for one of the greatest showdowns in nature. On one side, a team of wolves. Hungry. Focused. And 25 strong. On the other, bison. Aggressive. Powerful and 10 times the size of their opponents. Spearheaded by the lead female and male, the team of wolves have picked up the bison's trail. Zeroing in on their quarry, the wolves approach cautiously. A bison's horns could rip any attacker to pieces. Gathered together and on guard, they appear invulnerable. With no young bison in sight to offer easy pickings, this will be an especially difficult fight. One wrong move and any one of the wolves could face fatal injury. But wolves are competitive. They rarely give up when ravenously hungry. With tenacity and teamwork on one side and pure muscle on the other, this game is all to play for. The wolf pack must work strategically as a team to break up the group and isolate a single bison to take down. The wolves know to chip away at the bison's resolve together, bit by bit. Finally, the bison's nerves break and the wolves take their opportunity. The lead female wolf drives the chase, and her packmates follow. One of the bison draws upon its armory, delivering a kick that could shatter a wolf's jaws. But the wolves are a unified team, alternating to maintain their offensive. The chase heads for cover and the deep snow slows down both attackers and attacked. As the herd splits in two, the thicker vegetation turns a straightforward chase into a deadly form of hide and seek. Hours pass. This is a fight this team of wolves must finish. All it takes is a single mistake for the tide to turn. The lead female manages to chase the smaller group of bison into the open, with the other leading wolves close behind. But here, the bison rally and close ranks once more. As backup arrives, the sheer number of opponents proves too much. Panicking, two bison break away from the group, making another attempt at escape. The wolves seize the opportunity. The trailing bison is tiring in the deep snow. Isolated and exhausted, it now has little chance of escaping the wolves. The lead female makes one final push and grips the bison's flanks with her jaws. With her packmates catching up to help, there is now no escape. A single wolf would struggle to make such a kill by itself. Only the several experienced hunters that come with a large group can subdue this adversary. And so, the bison is finally brought to its knees. After eight long hours, the wolves are victorious. No one in the pack will go hungry tonight. But sooner or later, the hunger will return and the wolves must draw on their tenacity and teamwork to fight 
once again.